cliffs of 200 meters height. An abbey more than a thousand years old. A waterfall where plants become rocks. This is not a fairy tale. This is a journey to the small village Baume le Monsieur. Join a road trip to the French part of the Jura Mountains on our journey west. It's a new day of riding and we finally made a plan on to day two now. So our plan is to go to the west coast of France. So we're going to travel through France, hit the west coast and then continue from there to Spain and Portugal. Good morning everyone. Start of a beautiful day of riding as usually I am navigating but my travel partner has the camera on the back of his motorcycle running so he has to go first. Oh no. Hey! That's the wrong road. Oh no. Oh no. That's how it is. Everything for the YouTube video. Ah, let the travel partner go first once and he is taking a wrong turn of course. Still riding in the French department Jura and with a few little detours thanks to my travel partner's fabulous navigation skills, we eventually made our way to the French town Poligny. You gotta love this little French town. Isn't it absolutely adorable with these cute little roads and houses in front of this backdrop of the cliffs of the Jura mountains? It's so funny, France is so close to Germany and Switzerland, but as soon as you cross the border, it's so different and you're really like in this cute French fairy tale world, like in a movie. Unfortunately, each fairy tale comes to an end at one point, and this one ended in front of a blocked road. I think we can just stay on this one, you see? You wanna go around? I don't know, you decide. I don't know how long this is closed though. Yeah, we will see. I think you guys know this meanwhile, but I really hate when um, plans that I made or routes that I wanted to take don't work out and um, if they are closed like this one. You would think that it doesn't bother me with all my travel experience, but once I decided something, it makes me sad when it doesn't work out. So yeah, I'm very sad. In the end, the road closure of course didn't matter so much, because it is very easy to find small lovely countryside roads in this part of France. And before even knowing, we had made our way to our first destination of this day. This is it! You know you are at the right place when you see the old church here and of course these mountains of the Jura on the left and right. We made it to the village Bom le les Monsieur. Bom le Monsieur. Baume le Monsieur is a commune in the Jura department in eastern France. The village lies within the most extensive of the steep head valleys of the Jura cliffs, the Riculé de Baume. It is almost completely surrounded by limestone cliffs that are about 200 meters in height. A real majestic feeling, seeing the cliffs towering up just next to you while riding through the town.
So the road here through Bom Le Monsieur is very funny. It's a one-way road, so you can only go in one direction and once you start it, you literally have to drive the full circle through the whole town and church and everything. Do we want to check out the grottos as well? Huh? Do we want to check out the grottos? Yes, it's only two kilometers. I'm not on the road. No, no, we drive. Yeah. We check out if we can park there. Alrighty, so let's check out the grottos then. We will see. Les Cascades de Tuf are several little waterfalls that are only two kilometers from the center of Baume le Monsieur. The rocks are formed by the limestone contained in the water, which is deposited on the plants surrounding the waterfall. Then the plants are transformed into a soft, honeycombed rock. Yes, this is happening right in front of your eyes. Next to the waterfall, you can as well visit the grottos of Baume le Monsieur, what we skipped due to my travel partner's foot injury. The small waterfalls in the surreal green moss and plants were worth a visit though. Did I already mention that France sometimes really looks like a fairy tale? Now we are checking out what we are here for. There is this famous abbey here in Baume le Monsieur. It's supposed to be old and kind of very scenic. So what do you think about this? Fantastic. And in reality? I love abbeys. And in reality? In reality I'd rather have a cappuccino. That's how my travel partner is. The old town of Baume le Monsieur is made for a stroll through its tiny roads and a French lunch outside in the sun. Most tourists are day visitors who want to have a look at Baume le Monsieur's famous abbey. Saint-Pierre de Baume le Monsieur is an abbey founded in 869 AD. It has been the center of the village for many centuries and you can find a lot of historic relics, like a ratchable from the 16th century or paintings from the 17th and 18th century. And the outside of the abbey is an impressive architectural landmark, with a lot of elements reflecting the evolution of architecture over the centuries. One last ride through Baume le Monsieur before we continue our trip and we are about to really head west from here. We took some highways, some smaller roads and some very small roads in order to cover some distance and travel as far west as possible. I don't know, this day started so nice, but these dark clouds ahead, it feels like it could start to rain again soon, every minute. And within the next minute, it really started to rain. First the rain was bearable, but soon it started to pour down so heavily that I didn't even film one more video. And August being the main time for Europeans traveling, with basically all kids being on summer vacation, made it very difficult to find a place to stay. After about two hours in the pouring rain, we finally were lucky and found a hotel though. So we were a bit unlucky today with the weather. Unfortunately, it rained a pretty long time of the day. I as well didn't take so many videos after um, Baume Les Monsieur. Um, but we found a nice little spot here in this cute little town. The hotel Les Cires de Zemur is situated on the Place de la Fontaine, right in the center of the community Selsu Cousin. The village actually was much more pretty than it first appeared in the rain. And the lovely lady who runs the hotel served us a fantastic dinner so we didn't need to head out in the rain anymore. All is well that ends well, isn't it?
Thank you for riding with us through the beautiful town of Bomle Monsieur and joining our journey west. Leave me a comment which town in France is your favorite and give this video a thumbs up if you like the ride. The next episode will take us to one of the most famous regions of France, to Bordeaux, the heart of France's wine production. Ride with me through beautiful vineyards, to old chateaus and to the historic town Saint-Emilion. <laughs>